Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Justin. Welcome back to some more World of Warcraft. In today's video, I want to tell you guys how I made 108k in one day on the launch of Legion. It was a super, super good day of gold making for a lot of people that like to gold farm and like to gold make. And it was a pretty successful day for me. Now, my goal was actually to hit 100k and I actually did, so I'm super proud of myself. But uh, basically, I made a video a while back of teaching you how to kind of stockpile and prepare for Legion and things that you should be adding to your list of stockpiling. And there's actually some things that I've learned from you guys as well. Um, but anyways, guys, we're going to go over everything that I did sell that day, and it's going to be super, super awesome, and I have it on my list, and I'll also be putting it down below in the description so you guys can check that out as well if you're not really understanding. So the first thing is going to be Hex Suite Bags. Now, this was something that I said was going to be an awesome awesome seller for tailorers that can make these hex -free bags or that already have saved them up and i'll i know people down below in the comments of that one video that said they had like 700 of them sort up so i don't even want to know how much gold they made that's just too much but for me i made a pretty pretty good profit off of them now so i ended up actually creating 29 of them on the launch of legion i have 29 of them to sell and i put them all in the auction house i think it was for 1400 gold per yeah that was what it was and i ended up selling them all that same day for 40,000 gold of a total profit it was a little over 40,000, like 40,650 years. I can't remember how much it was, but it was just a super, super good day for me. That was a big, big seller. It was nice just seeing for, it was like, I think I, I think I ended up opening my mailbox at around like 32,000. It was pretty cool seeing that. Um, so we're going to head on to the second one. This is going to be the saltstone shirt coats. Now this is just one transmog piece and I was not expecting this at all. I had three saltstone shirt coats, um, saved up for Legion. I had one inside my guild bank on my alt and I had two inside my auction house because I figured, you know, maybe one would sell and we'll have one up on the extra one as well. Um, so I ended up selling two saltstone shirt coats. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, uh, saltstone is basically a set that everyone, or not everyone, but like transmog finders and completionists want to have so that way they can have it as well. And the saltstone chest piece, the shirt coat, is very, very rare. And now I farm these up in Dire Mall or like the Den Whompers Cave and stuff like that. But I actually ended up selling two of them for 12K each. So that was a profit of 24,000 gold as well. And just to make sure, like this is all on the same day. This was all on Legion launch uh, on the same day. Or maybe it was, Maybe it was a couple of the day after, but it was pretty, pretty close to each other. Um, so the next one is going to be Welplings. Now, this one kind of wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I The prices went up, but they just didn't sell as much as I thought they were. The prices went up pretty good. But so, yeah, so the Welplings went up in price, but they did not sell, like, in tons and tons of quantity like I thought they were they well I, I knew they weren't I knew I wasn't gonna sell all of them but they did go up in price which is which is nice the Emerald Welpling went from 8k to 12k and I actually sold one Emerald Welpling for th no I actually sold the Emerald Welpling for 13,000 gold I sold two Dark Welplings for 5k each that made a profit of 10,000 so I ended up making around 23 24,000 off of my Dark Welplings or and my Emerald Welplings as well so the Welplings was a good seller as well I liked um you know I still have a bunch of them saved up and I just have them all in the auction house one by one just slowly selling them over and over again i think i sold the bronze welpling already but it wasn't on release so i'm not going to add it to this list um and primal fire so now i actually was planning on selling these before legion i had 92 of them and I wanted to sell them before Legion. I was like, oh, I just, you know what? I'm going I'm to save these. I'm going to add these to my list because they actually did go up in price. They went up from 140 gold. They went up to 182 gold per. So I got I got a little bit of profit from that, a little 40 gold profit from just saving them up. Uh, I ended up selling all 92 for 70, for 17K. That was, that was a really good... Um, profit right there and then some miscellaneous items were like some t-mog and some mats mostly little little t-mog items here and there and that all added up to about 4.5k so i ended up the day with 108.5k on legion launch it was a super super awesome day now i'm hoping that you know expansions to come that i can make more and more because i'm still learning to gold farm i'm still trying to figure out new ways to to maximize my gold profits but, but here was my first actual expansion gold launch and i ended up making over 100k so i'm super excited about that now i know people People, like make over millions of gold per day and stuff like that but you know I'm, I'm trying to get better at this i'm trying to get better so if you guys have enjoyed make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up as well as subscribing down below and make sure to go check out the stockpiling video that i made so that way maybe you guys can get a couple tips in there i'll see you on the next one my name has been justin peace out everybody